guys, Noli here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will check new Tech 3 um, Italian cruisers that are currently available in the game. And these are um, Taranto, Raimondo Montecuccioli, Trento, Zara and Amalfi. Uh, what is interesting about this line is that um, from tier 1 to tier 5 you have actually light cruisers with 150mm guns. And then from tier 6 upwards you have uh, heavy cruisers or armored cruisers with, with 203mm guns. And in my opinion that makes a huge difference. And 203mm uh, guns have much bet better penetration um, and that's super important because you don't have HE on these ships, you only have SAP. And penetration is a, a huge factor and it is working in my opinion much better on 203 millimeter guns. So uh, now if we check first uh, tier 3 Taranto, um, so overall I'm, in my opinion at least, I'm not at all impressed uh, with this ship, I think there is uh, better uh, cruisers on tier 3. Um, and uh, so she has actually seven 150 millimeter guns, but you can shoot only five per side, so that you, that means that volley per side is five shots um, and uh, also torpedoes don't, you can shoot only two torpedoes per side and she doesn't have any uh, special skills uh, so overall i would give her two from five points survivability is average so i would give her three from five points maneuverability is on lower side even though she's a uh, light cruiser so, but so i would give her two from five points so her turning uh, turning time is not too good then guns, as I said, so she has only five guns on uh, on a side, uh, so that's again two from five, and torpedo is also two from five, nothing special. Then if we check uh, Raimondo Montecuccioli, uh, Montecuccioli uh, for me the situation is uh, uh, very similar, so I'm also again not hugely impressed uh, with this ship, and I think that 150 millimeter guns are, especially with SAP, are underperforming a little bit and, and lacking. They they lack uh, penetration power in comparison to 203 millimeter guns that are from tier six up upwards. Um, but nonetheless, so yeah, she has eight 152 millimeter guns with SAP, as you can see, and she, and this is something again what I uh, think that is very weak on her are torpedoes. So if you check most of the other cruisers on, on tier five, they all they all have either. Uh, either three, four or six torpedoes per side and, and she has only two torpedoes per side. Uh, so that means that, uh, yeah, it, it has a relatively fast reload time and a good range, but you won't do a huge amount of damages with two torpedoes per side. Um, so overall uh, for this ship, I would give her again two from five in my opinion. I, I was not impressed uh, with how she's performing. I think that Königsberg or Kirov are performing much better. Um, then survivability is average, so again 3 from 5, maneuverability is on the slow side, again uh, this is something that is uh, of course uh, characteristic to the entire Italian cruiser line, so again 2 from 5 points, then guns again 2 from 5 points, I think they are lacking penetration power uh, and 203mm guns are performing much better. Uh, then torpedoes, I would give her 1 from 5, so she has really really weak torpedoes uh, in comparison to other tier 5 uh, cruisers. And then AA is average, so that is 3, three from 5 points in my opinion. Uh, she has uh, uh, fuel smoke level 1, 2 times per battle. And then uh, for uh, both uh, Taranto and Raimondo Montecuccioli, I would suggest, suggest a similar play style, so I would suggest don't show her broadside, you're a light cruiser, so you can lose HP very fast. Uh, stay at distance. First focus on destroyers and cruisers with SAP shells, because you can uh, do relatively good amount of damage on them. If you're targeting BBs, uh, shoot on, on a bow or stern of a uh, battleship, so you can have relatively good penetration with SAP. Don't uh, forget to use torpedoes and use uh, smoke on Raimondo Montecu Montecuccioli wisely uh, and make it count. On tier 6 we have Trento and that is first heavy or armored cruiser in Italian line and um, I really like the ship so I think ship can perform really really well and I think that these 203 millimeter guns are making a um, huge difference they have very good penetration and very high alpha damage uh, so um, you see that SAP damages one uh, 989 
per shot and you have eight shots so that means that you have almost 8000 damage per one salvo so that means that you can simply delete enemy destroyers in two, two salvos and you can make a really huge damage to enemy cruisers also uh, also again the alpha damage is 40 around 43000 per minute um, uh, so damage output per minute and that makes her uh, really really powerful damage output that can make a huge difference and she has also very good penetration against enemy beta ships so this is something that i'm really happy uh, uh, how she's performing also again torpedo troops are so torpedoes are not bad you have three torpedoes per side and you have um relatively okay reload time and the range is great so you have 8.42 kilometer range and detection is 7.49 so you have actually one kilometer more range on torpedo than detection so if you want to stealth torp other ships if you're low on health and you don't want to be detected that's completely possible um, also AA is on higher side uh, so I would um, say that her AA is really really good uh, in the ship so overall performance I'm quite happy and find her performing really really well um, overall I would give her four from five points in my opinion at least uh, survivability is also very very good on higher end four from five points maneuverability is as usual for Italian cruiser line is, is turn time is slow so it is two from five guns are four from five i think she has a really uh, good guns um then uh, torpedoes are again four from five i think she can perform really well and aa is also in my opinion uh four from five also to mention she has a uh, fuel smoke level one uh two times per battle then if we jump into the battle and check this out so almost full health dd and bam yeah it's almost dead dd and this is something that you want to do if you're talking about the play style it is very similar to tier 3 and 5 so don't show broadside stay at distance and then first focus on dds and cruisers with sap and this is the, the reason so with one shot you can almost kill a dd um, then target battleships bow or stern with sap don't forget to use torpedoes and uh, you will now shortly see why so again this dd is trying to hide in smoke but he's down and then torpedoes are coming to this barn and it, they're really good a little bit lag there but also back ship is down um also used uh yeah just let's check this thing also so um don't forget to use uh, uh um smoke also that's really handy uh, it's only 10 seconds i think but nonetheless, uh, it can come very handy. Uh, again, this bed, uh, this DD is uh, staying in this smoke. And check this out. Yeah, bam. Seven shots. Uh, so this is something, yeah, that uh, TL and crews are really great to just deleting these DDs. And you can make a huge difference if in the beginning of the game you uh, delete uh, destroyers and the smoke bam, bam. Uh, just to help your battleships not to worry. Uh, then, uh, as I said, so uh, don't forget to use torpedoes as you can see here and uh, now targeting, so I forgot I'm having SAP here, so a lot of bounces because I hit the armor belt, but if I target now the bow of this battleship you will see that I will get a full a 7 shots full penetration, so that's excellent, so this is something that you want to do. Pros, uh, so guns are really great, survivability is good, torpedoes are good, fuel smoke and AA. And cons, I would say definitely maneuverability, so she's slow to turn and she doesn't have HE. But overall, I hugely like the ship and I think she can perform really, really well. On tier 7, we have Zara. And in my opinion, so she's again good ship, but a little bit, performing a little bit um, weaker than uh, Trento on tier 6. So I think that in... Um, her respective tier trend is much stronger than Zara on tier 7 so if you check they have relatively similar guns so again 203 uh, millimeter guns eight of them um, but uh, so Zara has uh, L53 and Trento has L50 so the length uh, of shell then that means that Zara has a bit more penetration but not too much so, and you have also uh, battleships uh, or other ships on tier 7 that have much stronger armor so she's struggling sometimes but nonetheless she's performing okay uh, torpedoes are again relatively similar three per side or almost the same and then uh, aa is a little bit less than on uh, trento and tier 6 uh, but overall i find her uh, performing quite okay so overall i would give her uh, three from five points in my opinion at least 
then survivability is on higher end, so that is 4 from 5 points. Maneuverability is, uh, again, uh, as characteristic for uh, Italian cruiser line, 2 from 5 points. Guns are 3 from 5 points, um, so they are a bit weaker than um, Trento. And then torpedoes are, again, 3 from 5, because they have practically the same torpedoes, but from tier 6. And then AA is, again, average, so 3 from 5 points. She has, um, then if you check, uh, she has, um, uh, again, two level 1 fuel smokes, and she uh, got also preci precise aiming system one, uh, two times uh, per battle. Um, then if you just shortly check, my equipment is uh, a third traversa, acceleration and traversa as usual, and my elite bonus is as all Italian cruiser line uh, main battery traversa speed. Then if we check in the battle, of course, first you need to focus on destroyers, Akatsuki and Kubat. Um, yeah, so regarding the playstyle, it's very similar to Trento, so don't show broadside, stay at distance. First focus on DDs and cruisers with SAP, as you can see, so we have Atlanta, so she's relatively weak, light cruiser. But this is something that you want to do, you want to take as much health as you, as you can from enemy destroyers and then cruisers. Uh, also. If you're shooting on battleships, target bow or stern with SAP and don't forget to use torpedoes and use smoke wisely as you can also see here. So yeah, so that was great, uh, just trying to uh, clear destroyers in that battle and cruisers and now let's see how she's performing against uh, battleships. Um, so uh, again, quite nicely, uh, since she has the same guns as, as uh, Trento, so she's performing a little bit, yeah, okay okay but a little bit yeah weaker uh torpedoes have good uh, firing arcs as you can see here so i can relatively easily shoot torpedoes from left and, and and right side so that's something also that you want to use uh then pros i would say survivability and fuel smoke i mean she has good torpedoes she has good guns but not that it's her like strong side uh, and then uh, cons are uh, maneuverability so slow to turn and no he I mean, she's overall okay, she, but I, I have a feeling that Trento is uh, in tier 6 a uh, bit, a, a lot, a bit, a lot, so let's say, stronger than uh, uh, Zara on tier 7, but she can perform uh, also really, really well. Yes, almost got this better ship. And then on tier 8 we have Amalfi, and I really, really like this ship, so uh, I really dig it. Um, I think it's really improvement in comparison to Zara. Uh, so she has better performing guns, in my opinion, uh, so the penetration power is a little bit better, because they are still 203mm guns, but L55, and they can penetrate relatively okay, and they can. They also have very, very good um, main battery SAP damage. So it is, you see that it's 1,015 damage per single shell. So and she she has also nine nine guns um, in A, B, and X uh, um, formation, and uh, that makes her alpha damage great. So she can in one salvo she can deliver 9,135, I think something like that. Um, damage and that makes uh, her brutal uh, she can really decimate enemy dds so in one sh one one salvo you can all take more than a half of health of enemy dds yeah destroyer if, if, if he is showing you um broadside so at least like two or maximum three shots and an enemy destroyer is really down uh, also she has a really good um damage output per minute around fifty four thousand damage per minute so she's really really on the higher end of uh, damage output only thing is she doesn't have he but i find that not such a huge problem uh, on in this ship uh, so she, i think that she can perform really really well and um, sap on on this ship can uh, has really good penetration power also she has um, a better torpedo so she has two times four so that means that means you can shoot four torpedoes per side and she has very let's say uh, angles of on the front of ships angle uh, torpedo angles are very really, very close to the broadside so that means you can shoot four torpedoes from the left turn a, a little bit and then four torpedoes from the right and uh, right side and it makes her quite uh, usable um, 
and again uh, torpedo range is also great around 10 kilometers so that that is also a huge huge plus uh, on um, so the one downside there is is that anti aa defense is not that great so it's on the lower side of tier 8 cruisers uh, but overall um yeah i find performance really well Actually, uh, the camouflage is also really nice so overall i would give her four from five points uh, survivability would be again uh, four from five points uh, so that's something that is characteristic to italian cruiser maneuverability is also yeah she's on the lower end of uh, turn time but i would give her three from five so she's let's say closer to average in my opinion at least guns are again four from five so i'm very very happy with these guns how they are performing uh, so yeah i, I didn't have huge problems with penetration uh, from SAP, so quite nice. Um, then torpedoes are between three to three, three from five, and, but I will go personally four from five. So I really like these torpedoes. Uh, good range, good uh, angles of firing and, and uh, good, uh, good damage outputs. I'm very happy with these torpedoes. Uh, and then AA is two from five. So she's uh, yeah, on the lower side of anti-aircraft defense. Then if we uh, shortly just uh, check the skills, uh, she has now also level 2 fuel smoke, 2 times per battle. Then she has level 1 precise aiming system, uh, 2 times per battle. And she got also a uh, um, new thing uh, in comparison to Zara, so she has now level 1 air defense alert, uh, 2 times per battle. So that's also uh, not that bad in terms of skills. Um, yeah, so overall, I uh, really like this ship and I also got this premium commander. And I think that uh, this skill level uh, 11 with um, plus 15% uh, plus, uh, main battery SAP shell penetration will make a huge difference when I grind it. So then if we check Amalfi in, uh, in battle, you can see here Sakatsuki almost, uh, let's say fun third of health is down with one salvo, second salvo and it's boom, yeah. And this is something that you want to do, so playstyle is, is again very similar to other Italian ships, so don't show broadsides, stay at distance, and then first focus on DDs and cruiser with SAP. Okay, a bit unlucky there. Uh, then target battleships bow or stern with SAP, don't forget to use torpedoes and use smoke wisely. And you can see here, so Italian cruisers are really, really devastating with this high alpha damage for uh, enemy DDs, so if they come closer, it will be game over very fast. Okay. Um, so unfortunately this battle was against uh, bots, but nonetheless second target that you want to uh, choose is uh, cruisers uh, and they can also, Intel cruiser can really be devastating. I hugely like this ship, I think their overall package is really good, she has high speed uh, and yeah, let's check the pros, so guns are really good, uh, good penetration, survivability is nice, torpedoes are good, have decent firing angles and range, so almost 10 km range as you can see. and. The firing angles are really good, you can shoot from left and right side very easily. Fuel smoke level 2, speed is good and overall package is really nice and I really like playing with her. Cons is maneuverability, no HE, she's slow to turn, no HE and weaker AA. So guys, I hope that you liked it, uh, enjoyed it, find it useful, uh, please hit like and subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye!